How's it going, everyone? I'm Gonzo. Today, we're going to be going over episode 42 of Pokemon Journeys slash Pokemon 2019. This episode is called Sword and Shield 1, The Slumbering Wield. Before we start, yeah, my colors uh, on the webcam here are different every time. This webcam software is screwed up. Uh, if anyone uh, knows any like good mirrorless cameras, dude, you could sit there researching forever on those, like deciding which one to buy. But uh, I digress. If you if you know of any good mirrorless cameras, let me know, guys. So um, the episode starts out. We see uh, Chairman Rose here, man. He's just walking into this hangar with resting bitch face here. And he sees this ball, man. This ball's just like throwing out that Dynamax energy. whoop de doo And this makes him like jizz his pants, dude. Rose is like, Unlimited energy! Yes! Back in Kanto, guys, Ash is like, I can't find the light switch because I lost my rock, paper, scissors match with Go! Then Pikachu makes a light, dude, but then guess what? Ash's backpack is like, I can do you one better. And it's like, why the fuck is this backpack going off, dude? What's up, what's up here? Oh, that's just the Dynamax band. Uh, whatever, dude, we'll just deal with it tomorrow. So they go and they talk to Sakuragi and they go, mystery, 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 with all the professors here. Yay, mystery. And they're like, go figure out the mystery. Ash is like bragging that he got these nice smelling tiny thingies. I, what did he call them in English? But uh, whatever, you know, it's what he, he calls the scones or whatever. And we get a little more exposition here and goes like, hey, dude, like Sakuragi Cerise, I hate that name, was like, yo, dude, you need to go meet this like Magnolia BZ. All right, yo. So they're on a train, the train is like, nah, dude, we need to stop. There's like too much fog and stuff up ahead. But anyway, a Bunnelby comes up and is like eating Ash's scones and stuff. And uh, it runs off into the forest here and they run after it. It's called the Slumbering Wheel, the ghost trying to catch it, you know. They're out here looking for this Bunnelby, you know. It gets hit with a ball because that's what Go does, throws a ball at everything. I got a ball, dude, I'm gonna throw it. It's Go's favorite thing, dude. Go should be a baseball player. He should not be a Pokemon trainer. He should be a baseball player. But I digress. He's out here, uh, where's Satoshi, where'd you go? I don't know. And we get that, you know, basically the video game scene where, uh, you know, Ash sees Sword Dog Pikachu and Go sees Shield Dog Pikachu. And they're like, oh my God, what is it? It's not in the Pokedex and stuff. And I'm like, Go tries to throw a ball at it. Ash just tries battling, uh, Zation, but go, you know, he tries throwing a ball at Zamazenta just to prove that I know the names because you guys are a bunch of assholes. You know how it goes, it's just they're basically take it like a couple of ghosts or something. Sweet. Awesome. And then you know the fog rolls in and all that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Go wakes up. He tries calling Ash and he's like, oh, maybe he went back to the train without me. And then he hears the train honk and he runs out and the train's all gone. Oh no. Yeah, imagine like a train, like you would know that a couple kids got off the train. You're not, I don't know, you you would kind of be like radioing it in like, dude, there's kids lost out here in this forest that's like full of fog and shit, but whatever. So Go meets up with uh, Redhead here, man, you know, and she has, he has, she has no license plate at all, dude. Oof, sweet. So he uh, leaves with Sonya. And uh, Ash, he wakes up, he sees Dynamax energy just freaking flying everywhere, and he goes to investigate. There's like this little town here where this girl has like sent to Pikachu, and uh, she loves her sent to Pikachu, gives him some like orange berries and stuff, but then it gets hit with a Dynamax energy, and they're like, no, sent to Pikachu! And he, dude, he like, dude, he gets huge, and he goes into a rage, and he's like blowing up fucking buildings and shit, dude. Someone's dead in that rubble, man. That someone's dead there. Legit. Someone in that house is someone was there and now they're not there. I'm just saying, dude. We see uh resting bitch face here being like, Tim and Rose, there's they're rampaging hurting stiff. But she doesn't really give a shit. She's just like telling him information. 
and he's just like, yeah, there's gonna be like casualties and stuff, that, that kind of shit, it's, it's inevitable, like, duh, bitch. So Ash gets to that town, he's like, yo, isn't this the wild area, stadium, so why? There's a lot of people around, uh, the images that I picked don't really show that, but there's, you know, there's quite a few people around from this town. Ash is like, dude, everyone wait here, dude, I, don't worry, I'm Ash Ketchum, I'm, I'm gonna go get it. And dude's like, no, don't be reckless, but before you can stop Ash, Ash just runs after it. He's like, dude, the people are scared, man. You need to stop rampaging. Now, by the way, I like this. This is a uh, Ash acting like Ash, like uh, just infinite bravery. Uh, didn't do anything really. He's doing stupid things, but he doing, he's doing uh, stupid things in the name of, of of something good. So he goes here, and dude, sent to Pikachu is just like fuck you. So Ash is like, yo, Riolu Pikachu, get this BZ. And uh, it just shakes off their attacks, man. It's like, nah, I don't give a shit. So Ash is like, dude, Dragonite, you need to come out. Like, we, we're gonna need your help and stuff. And uh, it like throws a bunch of butterflies at Ash and Pikachu <laughs> and friends. Damn, Santa Pikachu. That's a, that's a savage attack, just throwing colorful butter butterflies. Damn, dude. I'd be hella scared of that. So Ash does like this combo attack thinking it's gonna hit them. It, 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 when he did this, I thought he was like trying to block the move, but that's what happens. But it's like he thought he was going to push through the move. I don't know. Well, he basically blocks the move. He says, oh, it didn't do anything. Okay. And uh, it it's like going to fucking kill Ash. <laughs> and Ash is like, everyone run for it. And Dragonite swoops down and gets him out of the way, right? But then guess who shows up, dude? It's Leon, but he doesn't have a face. That's scary right there, man. So faceless Leon comes in and just whoops it up, dude. He's like, Charizard, it's Air Slash, do it. Hit it with your wing and stuff. And it becomes just normal little Santa Pikachu. And the little girl's like, I'm so glad I love you, Santa Pikachu. And the whole town comes up and he's like, yeah, you guys, you guys are Hebrews. This one guy thinks Ash, but then like everyone in the town is just like, yeah, Mr. Donde, yeah, Leon, yay. I mean, he's the one who got it done, but uh, yeah, Ash, Ash catch him. Uh, He's the one who ran in there just with nothing nothing like the power of Leon. He's the one who ran in there to get it done. He's the one you guys should be impressed by here. But Leon is like, yo, dude, you guys need to get inside and be safe and stuff while I figure out what the hell's happening here. And Ash is like, yo, dude, you need to let me help. It takes a little bit of convincing, but, you know, he agrees. And they get going. Ash, without a mouth back there, is a no nose, no mouth. And Pikachu with no nose mouth. They're flying around with Donde. He's like, he's like, yo, dude, Leon, this is like the sweetest thing in the world, dude. I like flying around you. This is awesome, man. This is like my dream come true. But then Go calls him and goes like, dude, what the fuck? <laughs> you ditched me, dude. Where are you at, man? Like, dude, I went back to the train. Why didn't you go back to the train, dumbass? And uh, Ash is just like, dude, I'm I'm getting rid of these Dynamax, Gigantamax Pokemons with Leon, dude. And goes like, yeah, well, I'm with Miss Sonya, dude, and uh, we're gonna go to Turf Town, man. Sweet. And uh, so, basically, they have uh, divided the work here, kind of. Looks like Go is gonna do some studying here, and Ash is gonna be a little more physical for now. Okay. And we see that this mysterious car with this mysterious man is following Mr. Uh, Go and Ms. Sonya. And this is the final shot of the episode. You know, this episode was just a shitload better than episodes have been recently. Um, a lot better. Uh, like I said last week, whenever Pokemon is just doing like really shitty and then like an arc starts, you know the arc is going to be good. Like, yeah, they, it's like without fail. For some reason, that's the thing that they're just good at. It's just like when you, at least with me, it's like when I just do not give a shit about the anime anymore. I'm just like, oh, I hate this anime. There's nothing good happening. All of a sudden, they'll put out episodes that are like good for once. And I think uh, I've kind of realized the issue with Pokemon here. I think it is that the other episodes are just casual crap filler and that they're just phoning it in because there's not money in those episodes. Um, they don't have money to, to do all the great things they would want to do as far as storytelling. Um, I think they should stop doing that. I think there are clear ways around that, but I think that's basically what is happening. And uh, you know, uh, something I think that might be interesting would be if 
when you watch, when you like rewatch, just watch these main, 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 like the most important episodes. Um, I would have said you, you, last year, like to watch, you know, the capture episodes and then, you know, the main story arc episodes, but, um, Go is capturing something in every freaking episode, so, mm, I don't know. It's, uh, I'm happy that we're on an arc finally right now, and I'm happy that it was actually a good episode. And you know, it's funny, when these episodes are good, man, it feels like, it, it, it feels like it's three times as long. It felt like I was sitting there watching for like an hour, but I, it, it was still just the same length of episode. And I feel that way when I watch ReZero. ReZero has, you know, 23 minute episodes too. And ReZero feels like each episode is like an hour long. So, it's just, uh, if the writing is good, it, the times are good, you know. Just how it is, I guess. But, that is going to be it for today, guys. Please, like, comment, subscribe, most importantly, share. Ugh, I'm full of burps, guys. Ugh. But, um... You know, one thing I want you guys to tell me in the comments this time, though, is, um... Do you guys know why... I, I See, I'm unfamiliar with this Darkest Day arc. Uh, haven't really played the games, like, uh... You know, most of my team was missing, so I had no interest in playing the games. I'm just gonna put it like that. Um, but, uh... Why... Is there a clear reason why Chairman Rose is kissing Ash's butthole in the preview for the next episode? A clear reason. I'm not asking you to speculate, okay? But is there a clear reason based on the games? Just uh, let me know that, guys, because I do not know. And that will be it for today, guys. Peace out, guys. <laughs>